Hello and welcome back to Calculus 2, Math 112. Our topic today is Taylor and Maclaurin series. A Taylor series for f of x about x equals 0 is the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of the kth derivative of the function evaluated at 0 over k factorial times x minus 0 to the k. Similarly, a Taylor series for f of x about x equals a is the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of the kth derivative evaluated at a over k factorial times x minus a to the k. So we can now write a Maclaurin series for f of x. That is a Taylor series taken about x equals 0. The Maclaurin series for f of x is the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of the kth derivative of the function evaluated at 0 over k factorial times x to the k. As you can see, these are just power series. They're power series with coefficients. a sub k equals the kth derivative of the function at 0 over k factorial. Now let's take a look at an example. Suppose we wish to find the Maclaurin series for 1 over 1 plus x. Well, we can use the geometric series theorem. Write 1 over 1 plus x as 1 over 1 minus negative x. Then, that can be written as the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of negative x to the k. Or we can write it as the sum from k equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k, x to the k. This means that the kth derivative of the function at 0 over k factorial equals negative 1 to the k. So we can see that in this example, the kth derivative of the function at 0 over k factorial is just negative 1 to the k. For the function, f of x equals 1 over 1 plus x. Now let's find some additional Maclaurin series for f of x equals e to the x, f of x equals sine of x, and f of x equals cosine of x. We can find these Maclaurin series by taking derivatives and evaluating these derivatives at x equals 0. First we take a look at f of x equals e to the x. We see that the kth derivative at 0 is always 1 because the derivative of e to the x is always e to the x. That's for k equals 0, 1, 2, and so on. So we can write e to the x as the series, the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of x to the k over k factorial. And we see that all of the derivatives at 0 are equal to 1, and that is present in the expression as a coefficient of 1 times x to the k. This Maclaurin series is also called a power series. So we see that sine of x is just x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial and so on. It's the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the k, x to the 2k plus 1 over 2k plus 1 factorial. Similarly, the cosine of x is 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4th over 4 factorial minus and so on. And what that gives us is the sum from k equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k, x to the 2k over 2k factorial. So we now know the Maclaurin series or the power series of the exponential function e to the x 
and the trigonometric functions sine x and cosine x. Now remember, we said that the Maclaurin series is actually a Taylor polynomial where a is equal to zero. So let's recall the Taylor polynomial, p sub n of x. It goes from f of a up to the nth derivative. f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a to the first and so on plus the nth derivative of f at a divided by n factorial times x minus a to the nth. So it's a Taylor series that has been truncated. When we truncate a Taylor series to a Taylor polynomial, we are losing some of the value of the function. Error estimates will be discussed in the next lecture.